everyone so today is the day I am pouring on the wheel and now you're going to ask what are you going to do after uh, I either plan on making a clock out of it but I would need some tools to build a little um, furniture thing to put it on um, there is also someone in the comment that uh, said that would make a great base for a lamp and I agree I think it would be really cool but I still really don't know what I'm going to do with it uh, but I'm going to paint it anyway and maybe have an idea after um, this is going to be interesting to pour on uh, it's not straight there's a bunch of curves and corners uh, the paint will go in the middle will flow in the middle hopefully because uh, as you can see my table is at its limit uh, uh, yeah I put paper on the floor <laughs> to catch any uh, paint that may fall because uh, the risks are uh, big since uh, there's about <laughs> not even an inch uh, on each side of the wheel left of tables so uh, it's going to be interesting hopefully I won't make uh, too much of a mess and as you can I'm not sure if you can see it but uh, you may be able to see it once I zoom you in the wheel was sanded uh, roughly so it would give something uh, something for the paint to adhere on and it, the varnish on it is removed it's really uh, roughly sand there's texture and everything so I think the paint will uh, be able to adhere uh, no problem and for that I mix my paints the usual way uh, just paint medium and water and it's about half and half paint medium and 25% water for the heavy body paint and I have uh, three inks uh, two metallics, well, pearlescent. Uh, those I mix one part ink to ten part medium and just a squirt of water, just to say like five percent, not even, just to help them flow a little bit, maybe create some effects. But I doubt I will get a lot of effects here. Uh, it's not a canvas, I, and the paint will move a lot. So we'll see. I'm quite uh, intrigued <laughs> as to how this will turn out. So I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. All right. So I was planning on putting all my colors in one cup but I don't think it will fit so I'm splitting it in a half Well, I'm not sure it will fit even if I split it in half, so that's interesting. And it doesn't fit, so what I'll do is pour a little bit and fill it with the rest of the covers after.
So I almost emptied this one. It's pretty red here, so I'm gonna add a little green. I want the outside spokes to be greener. And now I will add more red into my cups. And my fluorescent colors as well. Help them flow and cover the sides. I have a bunch of cells here. That's funny. I didn't expect that at all. So I'll give you a time lapse and meanwhile I'll um, check on my wheel, see if, if everything is covered. It does look like it, but I can't see every little angle, so I'll check. Alright, so I stopped the time lapse. It's probably going to keep changing uh, since nothing is leveled. The wheel, uh, the paint is going to keep going towards the middle. But uh, I really, really like it. And I have to thank uh, my mechanics friend, <laughs> Batist. Thank you for the wheel. I appreciate it. It was a test of his uh, to see if we could, uh, uh, I don't know how to uh, say it in English, but yeah, it was a test wheel and it worked, And but he only has one wheel since he tested on only one, and so he decided to give it to me, and I, I'm really thankful. <laughs> I even got cells, even though they're probably going to dis disappear uh, because of the paint uh, moving. 
I didn't expect sales at all. Uh, I'm quite thankful though. It's uh, really nice. Uh, now my plan for this is to paint all the outside of the wheel and inside um, black. So it looks cleaner and sharper and the color will pop uh, way more with black and the whole thing will look much cleaner uh, because uh, of the shape of the wheel I couldn't really uh, put masking tape to um, avoid getting paint on it. Well, probably could have but it would have been really really complicated. So once that top coat dry here I will paint it black but I'm not sure if uh, I will be in time for uh, Wednesday. I'm a bit last minute, <laughs> like usual. <laughs> My uh, legendary organization. <laughs> oh yeah, I really love this spoke here. Um, lovely with the little cells of uh, green and red popping up. I love uh, this one too, this one too. This here is uh, crazy with the green cells. Uh, I hope some of it stays. <laughs> I like it. And then there's this one with the some cells of pink and this one here, lovely. I, I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet, but I'll find something to do. And we'll probably see it in a future video. Maybe a vlog. Um, yeah, I could do a vlog on uh, finishing the wheel eventually. So yeah, uh, it went well. I didn't expect it to go as it did, but it's fun to experiment and it's fun to uh, see how the paint flows on an unleveled surface. Uh, it gives it a lot of movement and it's really really lovely and I've put fluorescent paints in there so some of it will glow under black light I think it's going to be pretty darn amazing and we're back and really happy with how it turned out I didn't expect <laughs> this result at all I went with the uh, complementary color contrast green and red Pink and green also works, because pink is red, just pale. But I love it. Different shades of green, different shades of red, and a little white. I think I could have omitted the white, that it doesn't look as nice here, but I think it's cool still cool. There's a bit of red in the details and green details and the white so it's fine. There's lacing, there's a bunch of details, it's really cool. I Like I said, I really didn't expect it to uh, end up looking like this at all. So yeah, it's probably gonna keep changing but uh, you'll get a picture of the dried wheel uh, in the outro just a second from now. And uh, it was a project that scared me for a little while and I wasn't sure how to approach it but thanks to my mechanic friends and uh, my husband I went ahead and did it and I'm really happy I did and so now is to figure out what I'll do with this wheel if you have any idea suggest them in the comments I will read them and I'd be happy to uh, check out your ideas and uh, yeah on that note thank you guys for watching I hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video bye